pour out upon them and our hearts rejoice in the gift that they are to us as a, as a parish, but the gift that they are to you and the gift that they are to Jesus. Uh, little ones, as, uh, as I was praying for you, our, our first uh, communicants, uh, as I was on my knees praying for you over this, this last week, the Lord gave me an image and that image is of a cheeseburger. <laughs> so I want to invite all of the second graders, all of our first communicants to please stand. Uh, all of our first communicants to please stand. A couple on this side, a couple on that side. Okay, so now I'm going to ask you a succession of a few questions. And if the answer is no, essentially, if the answer is no for you, uh, I invite you to be seated. Okay, so just pay attention. So, if you do not like cheeseburgers, if you don't eat cheeseburgers, you may be seated. A couple of us. Parents, what are you doing with your kids? <laughs> cheeseburgers are great gifts. Okay, so those who are remaining standing love cheeseburgers. That's great. That's awesome. So, if you do not like ketchup on your cheeseburger, your burger, please be seated. So remain standing only if you like ketchup on your burger. If you do not like mustard on your burger, you may be seated. <laughs> wow, interesting. Okay, all right, good. So a few standing. I got a couple in the back. I got a couple over here. This side's eliminated. Do, is there anyone behind the pole here? Am I missing anyone? Okay, good. So if you do not like pickles, on your burger, you may be seated. Oh, well, this might not go well. Okay, there's a couple left. All right. Okay. How many do I got? I got three, four, five. I got five left. All right. So remember who the five are because I might eliminate everyone with this last one. If you do not like onions on your burger, you may be seated. I got, oh, she just said that. I got two, two left. All right. Last two. I'm down to the final two. Right and left hand side. If you do not like McDonald's cheeseburgers, you may be seated. All right, I gotta pick one. I gotta pick one. What'd you say? Yeah, eeny meeny my mouth. I know, I know the trick to eeny meeny miny mo. So uh, I'm gonna pick this guy on my left hand side here with the suit coat on. You can come forward, okay? You're gonna come forward. Don't run in church. <laughs> Just kidding. No, turn around and turn around forever. No, not towards, uh, that's good. Uh, what is your name for the congregation? Max. Nice and loud. Maxwell. Maxwell is his name. Okay, Maxwell, I have a gift for you, okay? You stay there. All right. Max, I got you <laughs> some McDonald's. No. I don't want your family to get angry, so don't get it all over your beautiful, nice suit, okay? But I want you to open that up. Take it, Maxwell. Okay, no, 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 no. You're opening it up in front of everybody, all right? <laughs> open it up, and I want you to uh, you can look in there and, and just tell us what, what you see. Uh, fries, napkins, and a cheeseburger. Fries, napkins, and a cheeseburger. So that's a good gift, Maxwell. So I want you to take that cheeseburger out. I'll, I'll, take the, I'll hold the bag for you. Take the cheeseburger out. Just be careful. Oh, don't, don't drop it. Now open it up. Pull the bun open. What's wrong with the cheeseburger, Maxwell? No cheese or meat. There's no, there's no cheese or meat? Mm -hmm. show, the, show the people. <laughs> so you got a cheeseburger. With, you could, don't drop it. Put, it. put it back together. So you got a cheeseburger. You can throw it all back in there. So my gift to you was a cheeseburger without meat, huh? Hold it now. So I gave you a cheeseburger without meat. So you would say to me, if that was a real gift, you would say, why did you give me a cheeseburger without meat? Wouldn't you, right? But I got, I got something special for you, all right? So here's, your, uh, here's your, your cheeseburger, all right? So I'm gonna hold on to this. I don't want you eating this before Holy Communion. Okay, so I, I got you a real cheeseburger. You can go back to your seat. Okay? Everyone give a round of applause for Maxwell. In 12 years of priesthood, it's the silliest image that God has ever given to me. But the point is, is that life 
without Jesus is like a cheeseburger without the meat. Life without Jesus is like a burger without meat. It's pointless, right? Maxwell wouldn't want that. (laughs) Nobody would have wanted just a bun with condiments and mustard and ketchup and pickles and onions. That's kind of gross, right? The condiments serve a purpose. The condiments are this image for the good things in life, right? The things that we love. We love ketchup and mustard and onions and pickles and lettuce and bacon on our burgers, right? We love those things, and those are the image of the things in life. All of the other stuff, marriage, family, job, work, money, success, sports, all of those things by themselves are good. All of those things by themselves are good from God and gifts from God. But when they're on their own, nobody wants to just drink a bowl of ketchup. (laughs) Nobody wants to just eat onions. But when they come together with the purpose, with the meaning, with with the purpose of it all, the meat, it gives greater value. Life without Jesus is like a burger without the meat. My brothers and sisters, my young brothers and sisters, those of you who are here today to approach the altar of God to receive your very first Holy Communion is to give you the great gift, the great meaning, the great purpose of your life. Him, Jesus, who came from heaven, was born for you, died on the cross for you, rose from the dead for you, and continues to feed us, to strengthen us with nourishment, not just protein like a burger, but spiritual nourishment so that our souls would not decay. He gives you food for the journey to get home. But my brothers and sisters, this isn't just a children's story. This isn't some fairy tale children's story that we just tell and celebrate once in a lifetime. This is the story for you and me. This is a story for my college kids at OU. This is a story that God needs all of us to hear, that he died for you and that he's risen from the dead for you, and that he wishes to feed us with his flesh to get us home. Life without Jesus is like a burger without the meat. It's pointless. We all need Jesus in our lives. And so as we bring these children here... And we rejoice at the fact that they're making their first Holy Communion. Let us return tomorrow, Sunday, so that they can receive their second Holy Communion. And then next Sunday for their third Holy Communion. And the week after that, and so that our children are not spiritually malnourished, but they're nourished on the saving flesh of Jesus, who gives them the only meaning and purpose of life, and that's to get them home to heaven. And so let's continue to feed our children and let's remind them today and beyond that life without Jesus is like a burger without the meat. Amen.